I'm Heidi Hewitt, AutoCAD Technical Marketing Manager, here with Dave Cohen, author and CAD consultant. David, people may have heard the term entourage objects in relation to AutoCAD visualization. Right. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, and I think what they're probably talking about is the old, in AutoCAD 2007 and earlier, we had the series of objects that were referred to as landscape objects. There were three commands that don't exist in AutoCAD anymore. And what was happening was, in earlier versions of AutoCAD, we had these ARX objects where you could quickly populate your model with people and trees and things like that. Those are no longer in AutoCAD. But you can still accomplish the same thing, and it actually makes more sense now because it works the way all the other objects work in AutoCAD. When you create a 3D object in AutoCAD and you want to create your own material, AutoCAD deals with several different types of mapping. One is a, is a diffuse map, and the other is an opacity map. So what these old landscape objects were in AutoCAD essentially were these dummy objects that you'd place in the model to which there were two different material or two different image files attached. Simplest way to think about them is image files. You had a, three, a, a full color image file that might be the picture of the tree. And then you had what was called an opacity map that was a black and white image. Anything that was white was opaque. Anything that was black was transparent. So I can accomplish the same thing in AutoCAD now by simply taking a two-dimensional, uh, sorry, three-dimensional solid and I'll create those same image files. In fact, if I've got my earlier version of AutoCAD, I've simply gone in and I've taken those same materials that were in the earlier version of AutoCAD and I've put them in my new material library. So now what I'm doing is I'm creating a map, I'm creating a material called Grand Hotel. Well, I've previously modeled inside of Paint Shop, I've modeled my Grand Hotel. I've created gold letters for the actual text and letters, and then I've created the same image but in black and white, where the letters are white so that they become opaque, and the background is black so it's transparent. And now I'll create a new material, and I'll simply go out and select those images. So let's go out and browse, and we'll select that image file that I created for my Grand Hotel sign. So this is the full color one. And I saved it with an I so I remember that it's called image file. And now I'll also go out and find that d opacity map that I created, which is the black and white image. Again, the letters are, black, are, are white so that they become opaque and the background is black. Now that I've created that material, let's attach that material to this object. So I'll simply apply the material to the object. Let's select the object. Okay. So you can start to see it take shape on here, but the mapping is wrong. Because right now, it's simply mapping that as many times as it has to to fit it on there. Well, now I want to go in and I want to set my actual, my actual scaling. I'm going to fit it to the gizmo. And I'm going to give it a scale factor of 1 for the U and 1 for the V. Because I know when I created my letters, I already created them the right size. Now you can see that it's mapped, and my solid is one inch thick. So now when I render that solid, what I end up with is one inch thick letters against a totally transparent background, and I can see the brick. That's great. Very impressive. Looks so that's, I think, what people realistic. are referring yeah. to as entourage objects. Great. Thank you for showing us that. You're welcome.